What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Rebel Galaxy. Picked up a couple of missions, sold off some of our stuff, and then picked up some more stuff to sell. So we're in good shape right now. At the moment, we have two quests. We gotta destroy some Corian pirates out in this little, I don't know, rock belt thing. And then once we get done out here, oh good, we have all kinds of fire coming straight at us. That'll be fun. Well, here, let me get somebody targeted real quick. And once we start killing Corians, like, I'm assuming there's some kind of witty... There's some kind of witty remark I can make about killing Corians, I would guess. I mean, I haven't seen Corians killed like that since 2034! Like, I don't know, I assume that there's some random quip you could make about this whole situation. But, I don't know the universe's lore well enough to tell you. I'm gonna go in, I wanna do some broadside combat, I'm gonna mess this guy up. I'm gonna mess this guy up with a quickness. Yeah! Broadside combat! How do you feel about that? Whoa, human scum! I mean, oh, dirty human. I bathe frequently! How are you gonna call me dirty when I bathe all the time? It's just on the nose of it, it's wrong. It's a poor insult. It's a poor insult. I don't know what your financial situation is, though. Maybe, you know, you're forced to use discount slurs and... Oh, you're already dead. Look at that. I got a bounty for murdering you. And you dropped cargo. I like cargo. What did I get? A Mark I pulse turret. That's the same gun that we already have. I'll probably actually keep that in escrow, though, for when we upgrade our ships. It's just something that I can equip real fast. Did somebody else get here? There it is. And so we made ourselves a decent amount of cash right there. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could say that my status as human automatically makes me dirty, I guess. And that would be a little bit more offensive. Do we have anything, like, out and in here? We got mercenary gunships. What are mercenaries doing out here? Couldn't really tell you, but we got a Corian Gold Thief. If you ever see the Gold Thief quest, you should generally take it because it's really, really profitable for a small amount of work. I've done the Gold Thief mission a couple times now, and usually the take is somewhere around 20,000 credits after the whole thing is said and done. And usually it's not that difficult of a mission either. Like, you have to fight some guys, which is what you do anyways. I mean, the majority of the game is just you fighting guys. And then you pick up the gold, and then you can actually sell it for like 8k a pop if you find a good port. If you find a bad port, you can sell them for 4k a pop, which is still a pretty solid profit off any object you pick up out of, you know, thin air or the lack of air, I guess, the vacuum out here. So I guess it would be no air at all. I don't want to fight that blockade right there for a minute. There's actually, what is that right there? Hold on, what's that purple thing? No, but there's a purple square over here. Oh, it's an ordnance crate. Okay, so somebody got blowed up over here. Wait, it said there was valuables, though. Where are the valuables at? Huh. They're messing with me. I wonder if it's just the ordnance crate, like it counts as valuables. It probably does. Whatever. Gold thief time. Let's go make ourselves some money. We're getting closer. Well, you're getting closer. I mean, we're not quite there yet. I think they sell you the ship at the cost of trading in your old one. I'm not totally sure. Either that or you just add it to your fleet or something like that. I know you get a credit if you go back to a ship that's weaker than the one that you have right now. They'll give you like 50 or 80,000 credits back. And you can swap back and forth in between ships pretty easily. But I don't know exactly how that all plays out. Haven't taken too much of a look at it for just now. This week has been just consumed with me playing Kingdom. That's a big problem. I don't actually know if we're going to finish this game. Like, it seems like there's a lot of... Oh, good. Oh, look, a cargo container. And it has Obtanium inside of it. Has Fortune smiled upon you, though? Has it really? Because I'm definitely gonna... Urfam Baduk. Huh. Ow! Don't do that. Your lasers hurt my feelings. They make me feel like you might not actually like me. I'm going to try and get up next to him so we can unleash a little bit of scow in his direction. And you can't even get through my shields. What are you thinking right now? What are you... Aww. Man. Why are you messing my stuff up right now? Why are you messing my stuff up? I got this super cool ship, and you just keep messing with it. We got a bounty, and we got paid out for that guy. So he's got gold ingots right there. Got gold ingots right there. So it looks like we only got two gold ingots off that one. Sometimes you get three or four. I don't know if the amount is completely or totally random. But I know that I've gotten four out of one of them before, and it was like cha-ching. Oh, there's valuables over here, too. Are these gold bricks as well, or are these just random valuables that you will assign to my inventory in accordance with random dice rolls that I have very little control over? There we go. 
I, don't, I wish my pulse lasted a little longer. That'd be like another thing that you could upgrade in this game and make your pulse like stay on HUD for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds longer without me constantly having to refresh the damn thing. It'd be pretty sweet. Oh, it's an ordnance crate. Nobody cares about those. Space trash. I mean, I guess I would care about them a little bit more if I had like missile launchers or anything like that, but I don't. So, we've got an unidentified signal over here. I figure we'll swoop on through. See if maybe it's somebody we can help out with. A message transporter. Oh. No! Hold on, I wanted to do the- No! I clicked the wrong thing! Oh man. Goddamn quick time events. Well, fine then. I'm gonna blow you up. Give me your messages or die. You have no choice. I will have all of your secrets or you will be destroyed. Or my guns won't target you. There we go. Sort of. Can I just blow it up and take what I want? I feel like that would be way more satisfying. We're going to find out. I'm going to blow the hell out of this thing. It has upset me. With its ability to block my... I don't know. I don't like quick time events. It threw me into the middle and I hit the wrong key because I was already piloting around. Apparently you got to fly like in a straight line or something while you do those. Yeah. Apparently the citizenry is upset that I blew up their transponder. But you know what? That's what it gets for not giving me what I want. Welcome to the galaxy, punk. Welcome to the galaxy. Give me what I want or I'll blow you up. We're going to Mopaku. Off to Mopaku. Mopaku sounds like the main character in like... I don't know. Some appropriated Disney tale. He probably lives in like a village. There's probably like a singing lion. Or in general, there's some kind of like sea anemone or something that he's best friends with. I don't think a sea anemone would make a very good best friend. They just don't seem spry enough to really hold down on that. There's a lot of things that go along with being a best friend. If you're going to be a best friend, you got to hold it down. That means that like above and beyond is the requirement. That's what being best friends is all about. Well, anemones, they don't really move around much. I mean, they do. They're just kind of like, yeah, wibble, wibble, wibble. I call it wibbling, the thing that their little tentacle things do. I always poke them when I'm out at the ocean. There'd be a bunch of anemones around, and you poke them, and they're sticky. It's because they're trying to, they got these little barbs that they use to catch fish and stuff, but they're too small to catch your finger, so they just feel sticky. But, yep, that's actually millions of tiny little barbs going into your finger. And you don't even know it, because they're not long enough to get through the skin. So I currently, for 49... Wait, what? Oh, they've got different ships here? Oh. They've got the Icarus instead of the Tenhausen. By Gear Jammer Systems. Extremely fast, generous broadsides. Small hole. I don't really want a small hole. The small hole does not... I need to be able to carry more stuff. Ooh, hello, good prices. Nice to meet you. Those prices are not amazing. Those are 4000 higher than what I bought for. Got rid of the water, though, so that's pretty cool. I'll probably just get rid of the obtainium here. The nuts and bolts are worthless anyways, as are the munitions. Meteoric diamonds have an okay cost here. And then... I could probably still trade those at a profit, but I just don't want to... I could probably sell those at an okay price somewhere else too, but I don't know if I want to like take them around with me. I guess I'm trying to sell gold anyway, so I might as well, right? I mean, if I'm already trying to sell gold, why not? Is there anything going on out here? We got a shot across the bow. We got to attack the militia, militia trader. Eh, nothing that I want to do in there. All those are kind of just like random variations on like shoot this guy type missions. Let's see here. Let's plot out our next course. We got militaristic. We got a mining station over here. I've never been to half these places on this side of the galaxy, so it may or may not be worth it to run around. You got slaves, tacky on salts, alien artifacts are selling pretty good right there. Let's hit to Wadros first, and then we're going to make a loop. I should join up, since I do so much training, I should join up with the Trade Federation and get ships that have a really big hold. I don't actually even know what ships they have in the Trade Federation. I don't think I've ever joined up with them. Might not be a bad plan. I think you can also join the militia, but I don't know exactly how to do it. I think you can join the Militia, and they have their own special ships, too, that all look kind of like Star Destroyers or like the Interceptor from Star Wars. But aside from that, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be a Kappa, say. 
I think I'd rather be a bad guy, see? If I want to be a guy, I either want to be a neutral or a bad guy. We get a mercenary chef and shoot him, see? I don't know if I can fly with the popos. I can't be known like that. They'd be like, watch out for him, he a cop. And then everybody hates you from then on. I'd be like, well, shit. Nobody loves me anymore because I have this super awesome shiny piece of metal on my chest that allows me to shoot people. Shit. Who knew that this privilege would come with downsides? Why? Oh. That's not good. Is this place, like, blockaded right now? I think this place might be blockaded. Already? Oh, no, never mind. It's him. Oh, no. I'm going to ram him because I can. And that's the sort of hammer-fisted tactics that I like to use. One down. Red Devil Cartel is having kind of a rough day. You know, it all seems kind of arbitrary to me, though. You can join the Trade Guild, which is basically a cartel, too. And nobody cares that the Trade Guild is a cartel. So who's to say that the Red Devils are actually the bad guys here? They are just they might just be a rival cartel that wants to take over. Whereas the cartels that we already have, how do we know that they're doing their job properly? I don't want your bio waste. I'm trying not to fly around with a hole full of contraband right now. I don't even know. Where'd he go? The camera pans very, very slowly when you're using your turret. I assume that's to keep you from targeting too well. Becoming like a god of war and just wiping out everything on earth. Apparently an organ was... When they sat down and wrote that song, they're like, you know what we need right here? An organ. Let's just put an organ in the song. That sounds pretty good. I'm like, ah, you're going to put an organ in your song. That's funny. You must really like that song. That or must have paid you a lot of money. Oh, God. All right, off this way. It looks like we got a couple of other big ships. Oh, it's a beam platform? Can I even land here? Maybe I can't land here. What happens if I blow this thing up? Maybe I should just leave. I guess it must be controlled by Red Devil Cartel. I thought that it just meant like it was like a hut station where they weren't actually hostile with me, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's jump up and out of here then. We might as well go back to where we were planning on going in the first place. The Mansour Fringe Outpost. Well, shit, let's get on that then. That sounds pretty good. Can I engage my warp? I'm just going to do like a little boomerang type action right here. Just like, wee, And then I'm going to hope I don't crash into anything along the way. Never been out to the diplomatic station either, so we might as well unlock as many of these little settlements as possible so that I know where stuff can be sold at. So what happens at a diplomatic settlement? I assume that it has something to do with making friends and handshaking and generally having stiff hair. What do you have at your commodities market? Cheap-ass meteoric diamonds. Good enough for me. Pretty cheap grill whiskey, too. Alright, well. Good enough trade for me. We could have sold the data cubes here. I got rid of them because I got panicky, and so I sold them at like a really, really low profit. Just because I didn't want to have them anymore. You guys got any missions out here that look good? Merchant Rescue, Mopaku Border Extrication. Eh, doesn't look that good to me. Jump on out of here. And then we'll go... Ooh, there's a Pirate Lord over here, though. Pirate Lords can be good for business. We got Ceramic Plating. Alien Artifacts aren't going so good, but at Xteen, I heard... Things are looking okay. Like, I think the last time we went over there... Yeah, alien artifacts are at a premium over there, so we should be able to make a little bit of cash that way. None of the missions are really attracting me right now because they don't pay you enough. They give you like 10 grand. And I think that if they dropped items and things like that a little bit more frequently, I'd be more inclined. But trading seems to be like the king's way to make money in this game. Just run around and make like big 50, 60,000 credit stacks just kind of flying around. Occasionally do, if you want to fight something, just do the distress beacons along the way or fight pirate lords whenever you see them. Which, by the way, we should totally kill that pirate lord over there. Pirate lords, they drop a shit ton of awesome loot. Like, usually they drop a very, very high tier weapon. Like, something that would normally set you back a pretty decent amount of cash. I don't know, actually, I don't actually know if we can take him in this vehicle. I know I could kill him in a ten housing, but it took a while. I don't know if killing him in this vehicle is going to be possible. x Station, Commodities Market. Let me sell you Alien Artifacts. So there's a little bit of money. 
Still looking for where we can take the meteoric diamonds and also, well, some of this other stuff. We already made a profit on the Griot Whiskey. We could flip those over right now, but we'd only make like 2,000. Pretty good profit, all things considered, what we just pulled out of the alien artifacts. If we get rid of these at a good cost, I think we'd be in really, really good shape. Let's go ahead and check the mission board for anything that I like over here. The ore must flow. The siege. A double jack commander is leading a siege on a friendly outpost in Tawadro Station. The whole assault is based on petty revenge. Okay. Yep, let's go for it. Siege breaker missions tend to be pretty profitable as well. Because they force you into close proximity with some of those pirate lords. I got... What do I have in my hold right now? I have one space in my hold. Give me a little bit more space. I guess I can do that mission whenever I want. We can still fly around a little bit and see if we can get rid of some of this stuff before I go over there. You want to make sure you have room before you fight with, you know, major badasses or anything like that. And he's going to be out that way. What's out that way? Nothing. <laughs> okay. That sounds special. They want space slaves, intellectual property. Were gold ingots good right there? It looked like gold ingots were okay. Gold ingots are at 5k. I think that sounds all right. Meteoric diamonds kind of low. I think military stations like the diamonds as well most of the time because they're used for like military focusing beams or something like that. They're not actually for jewelry or whatever, as I understand. And we got a Red Devil Harrier over here floating around randomly, being a nuisance. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead and shoot at him. There. And now he's dead. And we engage our warp. I actually think there's a bit too many, like, space trash guys in this game. Like, it's weird how frequently I get broken up by, like, flying around. I don't know. Sometimes you just want to warp in between locations. Maybe they could have put, like, a warp drive in that makes you go stealthy so that you just fly through stuff. Or something like that. Make it cost a lot of money. Custom waypoint along the eastern side or whatever relative side. Oh, it's not alongside that planet. Is it? Yeah, I was going to say, it's got to be alongside this planet. They always orbit planets. Huh, when you look at that, there are Red Devil Hammerheads attacking. That's kind of special. Down he goes. Leave him in a big old pile of debris. There's a Corvette over here, too. Huh. Alright, we'll run them off real fast. Hey, see if I can score myself a little bit of favor with the local PD. Let him turn the other way. Son of a wonderful lady who raised me properly. That's what he was going to say. I know it. I'm just going to crash into the station because I don't want to pick up the bio waste. Oh, man. It's not letting me auto dock. I don't want the bio waste. I do not desire it at all. I want to dock. I would really, really, really like to dock. We got a Marauder over here, which, as I understand, is a gunship, I think. Might not let us dock because there's enemies around or something. I don't know. Oh, damn. They're coming in here. Apparently, we're defending a space station today is what we are doing. Who knew? This little guy thinks that he can get away with just, like, shooting at me. Yeah, it's got to be a gunship. It's kind of small. Did they blow up that little gun turret? Okay, it's still working good. Well, we might earn ourselves a bounty out of all this. I don't know. Kind of a thing that I wasn't planning on participating in. But I guess if you're in the Defense Corps, you're in the Defense Corps. What would be super sweet is if you could pick up a bounty or something for defending a station. Let the guns do their thing for a second. Ooh, got him. Ow, crashed into the station again, too. Doesn't really hurt you that badly. I'm just kidding when I say ow. It has very, very little effect on anything when you crash into the station. Is that all of them? We handled here? There we go. No, I don't want this. 
I don't want that at all. Well, now I've got Pooh on board. Great. You know, baby on board. Now we got to put up our Pooh on board sign. Gold ingot's selling at a pretty good cost right there, so there's a profit for us. Meteoric diamonds still not that useful. I'm probably going to sell off the bio waste real fast. The grill whiskey is selling at a profit here. I think I bought it for 3k. Be nice if I could get more out of it, but... Meh. Maybe... Can't pick up any more meteoric diamonds. It looks like we're pretty much full on those little guys. Let's jump out of station real fast. See if there's anything on the mission board here. Nope, nothing on the mission board that I want. Well. Let's go break up this siege, shall we? Might get a little bit hot. But, assuming that they have defensive batteries and things like that, there's going to be plenty of stuff for the AI to shoot at, so it should be alright. You shoot me for you, dick. Learn to aim. I was reading an article this morning about how the cars that are supposed to be like smart cars that drive themselves, about how the people that make those, they have to program them to kill you in certain situations. And I was like, oh, well, then I'm just not going to drive one. Sorry, if the car's programmed to kill me, meh, not going to drive one. Like, if there's one guy, they had an example where there was, like, a guy walking in the middle of the highway, and they were like, the car will be programmed to put you into a wall, since you have a better chance of survival. They're like, forget that, he's walking on the highway, that dude deserves it. Who jaywalks on a highway? Just be like, yeah, run that dude over, that's what he gets. Not my problem. Mm-mm. Robot car, you better not screw me on this one. This guy has shown a critical lack in judgment and deserves to be run over by nature of the fact, if you lay down on a train track, are you going to be like, oh my god, a train hit me, I'm so upset. I bet you aren't. Mm-hmm. If you stick your arm into a beehive, do you cry when you get an armful of bee stings? Exactly. Don't walk in the middle of the highway. Not my problem. Mm-mm. Don't put me into the wall, smart car. That guy, clearly, he's not an evolutionary winner. He's jaywalking in the middle of a freeway. All right. We got another siege over here. Wait, I thought the siege is... Oh, shit. Well, time to fight with a frig. I gotta get up in here closer, though. Otherwise, this guy's gonna chew me up. Yeah, I was gonna say, we gotta focus fire on this dude. Is that the one that we wanted? He didn't have a name, but... Ooh, cargo container. Yes, please. A leech rocket turret and bio waste. Hooray! More poo. Probably focus on killing off some of these little fighters in here somewhere before I go any further into the system. You actually should be able to work these pretty carefully. Just as long as you don't move too fast, you should be alright. They don't seem to aggro until, like, you're well into the system. We got a big guy firing at us from over here. And unfortunately, he's got the jump on me. So, in this situation... I'm gonna have to hope... That I can put some pain on him before he puts pain on me. Get that thing. Get it! Is he gone? There we go. Get rid of this dude. He dropped an ordnance crate, which is utterly worthless. Oh, look, the militia's here. Okay, so we got to get to Lem before the militia does. I'm not getting cut out of my own profits here. That's right. I'm willing to hit a landmine in order to kill you, Lem. I am willing to kill a landmine in order to hit you. Lem's having kind of a rough day today, isn't he? There we go. There's my tent. Oh man, you only got metallic ore? What kind of victory prize is that? What kind of victory prize is that? What is that over there? It says there's a blue thing over here, and I want it. It better not be munitions. Don't be munitions. If you are munitions, I'm going to be very upset with you. Can we sublight this thing? I think the 10,000 was our reward for that one, so we should be good. Oh, good. It's a cargo container. I could always use more treasure. Ah. <laughs> yik yak meat. Like anybody wants yik yak meat. I think that should be the end of it. I'm not really incredibly interested in spending a bunch of time with the law out here. Instead, I think what I might do is I'm going to jump to the Merchant Guild. Maybe we're going to join the Merchant Guild faction or something. I don't know. I want to be part of a faction so I can get in on the action and gain some traction. Start min and maxing and all that kind of stuff. So 
I, what are those white ones over there? What do those do? Are those like meteors or something? Ah, well. Either way, this fight is not really that big of a deal. And so I'm going to finish it off all by my lonesome. I will see you guys in the next episode. We already finished off the mission anyways. Hi, do Rebel Galaxy. Check it out down below.